Mazari Special Edition Sport B Service Series. On this episode, I'm gonna show you how to separate the transmission, I'm sorry, the lower unit, the foot, the drive, however you guys wanna call it, separate it from the whole entire transmission. Um, I like to call this the drive, the mid, the mid section, which some of you guys call, it's the transmission, which goes from here to here, and obviously the power head. Uh, those six, there is obviously six nuts right here. They are a 916 nut. I actually created a special tool for it, and it's not so special because it is just a 916 impact socket that I turned down on the lathe. For you guys that have Spore Vs and have actually had to mess with it, this tolerances right here the the room that you have behind the room that you have behind these nuts and the the studs are it's very 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 tight so what i did i just put my socket on the on the lathe and i turned it down all the way now i understand if you guys don't have a lathe in your garage or you know but um what i have seen done it's guys it, this is really i i actually didn't think of this or or i would have done it myself but you can grab an angle grinder and then just grind it down boom 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 just grind it until you can put it back here and as you can tell there is it goes all the way in okay so on this one again if you want to use power tools you can if not do it by hand I will remind you, I have not done this prior to this, prior to this video because I wanted to show you in real time what it is like and how long it would take with the tools that we, most of us have in the little tiny toolbox with the garage and whatnot. Me personally, I like to remove the cavitation plate just because so it's not too bulky and it doesn't get in the way of anything. So the same, five, uh, 916. So okay, they will, some of this will be, will uh, be harder to come out, but it is pretty much all the same. Okay, then uh, you have this. And I do leave the, the skeg on because we are going to, I'm gonna show you this later on, a, on a, later on the video, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna use the skeg to hold it onto the vise so we can take it all apart. All right, so you, most of you noticed I took the six nuts out and it has not fallen. Why is that? Because we there is an O-ring, there's a, quite a bit of a, a thick O-ring in here that sits on the top of the drive. But also we use black RTV or uh, this, the black sil uh, silicone. And I need, to, uh, I need to remind you right here, when reinstalling this, you do wanna use the black RTV. There is a reason for that because one, it seals really good. It's really flexible when it when it hits stuff on the bottom and whatnot. But also, when you need to remove it again, it's not gonna be sticky. You can, once you break a little bit, it'll break and it'll fall down. Um, if you, I have had one occasion, I had a guy that sent it all the way back here because he could not take it apart. This is, this is a few years back. They, whoever did it, whether it was the previous owner or he did, I don't know, they used red RTV. And let me tell you, that was a nightmare. He actually had to buy a whole new transmission casting because there was no way we could not pu uh, pull it apart. And what I did, I grabbed a ha uh, the pneumatic hammer and I cut all around the transmission right here. And that's the only way I could get it out. So. Just go to the auto parts store, get you some uh, black RTV. I, I believe it is called the the Ultra Black from Permatex. It is gonna be money well spent because it is gonna be super easy to remove. 
very easy to apply and you will not have issues with it and um, and yeah so once I have removed those nuts we want to break the RTV I'm just gonna hold on to the shaft right here just in case that it breaks with the first hit um, rubber mallet don't use anything harder than rubber because you will have to buy a new lower unit and those are not cheap and you cannot find them very easy right now so actually you can see it moves a little bit so I don't think I'm gonna have to hit it really hard go all right now that I know it's you can tell right here it's already separated very carefully I'm gonna use my flat blade screwdriver and rock it upside down This is gonna be tricky. Normally I have another person with me helping me, but it's coming down. And rock it back and forth. That's it. There we go. Now this is where you're gonna have no, I can tell that nobody has taken this thing apart ever. This thing's got several hundred hours and look at the condition of it. I honestly don't think they have even replaced the oil. Um, which is good because I can tell there is no metal residue. There's no, nothing like, I can tell that it's been overheated or anything there's no funny noises it spins perfectly fine so I'm going to go ahead and put it on the vise um, and start taking it apart and, um, see you guys back when I'm over on the vise <laughs> 